romaine, bacon and tomato salad. Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. Are you quite health conscious? Are you a salad freak? Well, this recipe is just for you. But this salad is not a simple salad. It's a rocking recipe. Mind you, I've got some crispy bread. I've got some romaine. I've got some cherry tomatoes. And yes, I've got lots of bacon. A very exotic and rocking salad. So let's make a romaine, bacon and tomato salad. So what do you do? What I have? Okay, so before we proceed, first we will have to see what all the ingredients we need. We need some bacon rashers, we need brown bread slices, some romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes, vinegar, olive oil, fresh basil, some red wine vinegar, mustard sauce, some salt, some crushed black pepper, some fine slices of garlic. So once you have these ingredients in place, let's quickly make the salad. First thing that we need to do is we need to cut bacon rashers. Now this bacon that you get in the market has a slight rim on top. Now what happens is because of that it becomes difficult to cut bacon with a knife. So the simplest way is to cut it with a pair of scissors. I have this pan which is absolutely hot. The pan needs to be hot or else the bacon will just sweat and we need the bacon to get really crisp. So. On a hot sizzling pan, just throw the bacon rashers. If you like lots of bacon, what we can do is we can cut some more. Okay, Just throw this in the pan. Make sure the heat is absolutely high. Now, let's come to a baking tray. Don't bother about the bacon, it will not get burned. In fact, it will get nice and crisp. In the meanwhile, let's take some bread. Just Break it with your hand like this. Take the bread in two. Just break it like this. Another thing that we have here is fine slices of garlic. Put it here on one side. Make sure you don't pile it up much because it won't brown otherwise. So some garlic here and some tomatoes yeah cherry tomatoes okay take some olive oil drizzle it over the garlic some over the tomatoes maybe some over the bread just some random olive oil some pepper and some salt okay that's it the oven is sizzling hot, 200 degrees Celsius, I have preheated it. All of this is going to go into the oven. You see this? They have all shriveled. Just turn and cook the other side. The spoon should not touch the base of the nonstick pan or else it will go for a toss. Okay, so the bacon is in the pan, the garlic, tomato and bread is in the oven. All I have to do now is to make the dressing. So to make the dressing, what do I need? I need obviously some olive oil, but that will go in at the end. But let's start with some flavorings. I have mustard. Okay. To which I'll add in some red wine vinegar. Mix this well. Okay, what I see here is that the bacon is done. Yeah, you see the, you can see the noise. You see how crisp it's got. Switch off the heat and let the bacon rest in the pan. I just love this. It's so crisp, you know, it just, mm. Okay, so that's red wine vinegar, that's mustard. Let's add in some salt. Mustard has good amount of salt, so don't go too high on the salt. And um, this is some plain simple vinegar. Yeah, the sauce or the dressing is going to be quite tangy. And uh, some black pepper. 
Well, let's add in some more. Yeah, lovely. Some fresh basil. Just stir it. As far as possible, avoid cutting basil with a knife. Because I feel basil uh, or for that matter any green vegetables, um, be it lettuce, basil, mint, coriander, they have some kind of a reaction when you use a knife, which is stainless steel or any other metal. So it's always said that uh, when it comes to using basil or mint, just do this because it's quite easy, you don't really need to chop it. So this is done, mix this. Now let's add in the olive oil, okay very tangy dressing and all our other ingredients are almost done. All I have to do now is to pile up my salad and how do I do that? My dressing is done, my bacon is done and let's see what's happening in the oven. Lovely, oh lovely. Can you hear the sizzle? Sizzling tomatoes, browned garlic, and the bread absolutely well toasted. Let's arrange our salad. To start with, let's take some dressing. We need some fresh romaine lettuce. This has been refreshed and we'll just pile this up. Okay, all these ingredients or the garlic, tomato, and the bread. It's so crisp. I'm telling you, we're just going to enjoy having the salad. So, we we'll just put a little bit of the tomato and the garlic. Arrange some bread. And let's put in some more romaine. A salad looks good if it's piled up well. So be a little patient. So that's lots of lettuce. Some dressing on top. Beautiful. Some tomatoes, garlic, some bread once again. We've still not added the bacon. That also will be done now. But I still need to add in some more lettuce. Okay. The dressing is done and now goes in the bacon. Just arrange it just the way you want, place it wherever you want because it's your salad and you're going to enjoy having it. And you could also add in as much as bacon you want. If you don't eat bacon, then what? You could go ahead and do some grilled chicken, you could do some grilled seafood or if you're a vegetarian, just remove all of the non-veg and put in some fresh paneer pieces. Grilled paneer tastes amazing. So this is a warm salad with romaine, cherry tomatoes, bacon, just for you. Enjoy.